This man's world record striped bass would have won him a million dollars, but the IGFA didn't count it. Hold on to your horses, because this one's like a swift kick to the nuts. Our story takes place in 2012, where Rodney Ply was fishing Bull Shoals Lake, a reservoir that straddles the Missouri Arkansas border. Using a homemade spinnerbait that him and his hillbilly buddy came up with, Rodney hooked into the fish of a lifetime weighing 69 pounds. Nice. That meant Rodney shattered both the world record and the state record. 24 days earlier, Rodney registered for the Hook a Million contest put up by Mustad. Because he used Mustad hooks on his spinner bait. He stood to win 100000 off the state record and $1 million off the world record if he could get them both certified. But the Arkansas Game and Fish says, we're not driving to you. If you want to witness, you have to come to us. So Rodney loads the fish in the back of his truck and drives 30 miles. Meanwhile, the fish is in a tank, still alive, getting thrown around and regurgitating pounds of shad. By the time the fish is weighed, it's lost weight, so Arkansas does not certify the record. But a million's still in play because world records don't need to be state records. The IGFA certifies the original scale, but deems the spinnerbait as an illegal spreader bar? Rodney took them to court and ended up 